Hi, I'm Jack Draper. Shout out to Quality Shot Tennis. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Massive video, ATP draw preview and prediction video for Indian Wells, the BMP Paribas Open. A lot of people dub it the fifth Grand Slam. I'm not so sure, but one thing is for sure, we do have a star-studded lineup, of course. It's a Masters 1000 tournament. We've got some incredible, incredible talent on show. The only downside, no Rafael Nadal, no Novak Djokovic. Yes, I know it's a bit of a downer, but... Don't fret because it's going to mean that it's going to be very, very open for one. And for two, I think we're going to see some incredible matchups. So Carlos Alcaraz, by the way, will be playing and making his return after being injured. Um, there hasn't been any talk of him withdrawing. So he is in the draw. He hasn't pulled out. So we should see him. He has a buy in the first round and he tops the seedings before we get into it though remember to that like button do subscribe if you're new and of course if you're listening on a podcast platform leave a rating or review share the videos on youtube spotify whatever platform you're listening on and also thank you to our members your support is greatly appreciated you can now also contribute a small amount on podcast platforms mainly anchor if you want to no obligation but it really does help us out and it just means that we can continue to take this channel and podcast to the next level Carlos Alcaraz has a buy, as I said, in the first round. Brandon Holt plays a qualifier. We'll go for Brandon Holt. I know qualifying is still going on, but I want to get through this. Otherwise, you know, you get caught and then you can't really go through the draw as, as well as you'd like. Montero has Payer. That's a good matchup. Now, Brandon Holt, of course, beat Taylor Fritz in the US Open first round not too long ago. He's going to be playing in the US again. He'll have a lot of support, so I'll go for him to be whoever he plays in qualifying. Montero has Paya in the next match. I'm going to go Montero. Greikspor has a bye. He's seeded. He'll be really happy with that 31st seed. He's had a couple of really good months, it has to be said. Dan Evans has a bye. Jack Draper plays a qualifier. I think Jack Draper will win, though. I genuinely do. Uh, I, I think he's going to be... A potential threat on this surface, potentially. Andy Murray, Etchberry, I think I'm going to go Murray. Murray's been in some really good form. And if he is fully fit and he's fully recovered, which um, I'm hoping is the case, then he should theoretically make a decent run, depending on the draw. We'll see who else he's facing. That's a good first round matchup. His first round ties have been horrific um, for the past year uh, in a lot of tournaments, but this is a much better one. PCB has a buy, as does her catch. Qualify versus qualify. I mean, doesn't don't know who that, who that's going to be, so we'll just pick a qualify for now. Mo versus Hallis. Now, both these players have been in some really good form. Uh, Michael Mo from the US has been making a few moves in the US and US tournaments. Hallis as well in Europe. It's a good, really good match. I'm going to go for Mo. Just. Mm, Maybe the expectation might be a bit too much. I'm going to go for Hallis, actually. Yeah. Tommy Paul had a really good week last week, made, the f made a final of a tournament, losing to Demoner in the end. Mm, we're going to go Tommy Paul. He's got a buy, of course. sundelo has got a buy as well. But Rare plays Sock. I'm going to go Jack Sock as the wild card at Indian Wells. I think he'll be ramped up for this. Martinez, Hustler. We're going to go Hustler. Felix has a buy, as does Fritz. Ben Shelton, Fognini. Wow. It's a great matchup. Now, this surface plays a bit slower. It's a bit more physical, higher bounce. I wouldn't say it plays like clay, but um, it's kind of in between, I think, clay and a fast hard court. Somewhere in between. Shelton serves massive. He really does. Fognini, though, you know, he's very accomplished and experienced and the question is can he combat the youth and exuberance of Ben Shelton I'm going to go for Ben Shelton to come through I do like the way he plays I'll be interested to see if Fognini can really take advantage of Shelton's backhand which isn't the best his forehand serves good serve is I think it will become elite um, it's definitely up there at the moment um, Ima and qualify Ima of course Baez has got a buy so does Chorich Molkan plays Ramos for Nolas. We'll go with Molkan. I think he's uh, a better hardcore player. JJ Wolf versus Fuksovic. A really good matchup. I'm going to go Fuksovic. Dimino has a bye as a sinner. Gasquet's got a qualifier. We'll go Gasquet. We'll go Gasquet. Dominic Team 
is a wild card and he's got Manorino. Not the easiest of first rounds, it has to be said, but with a, on a slow surface or slower hard court, you know, Dominic team might be able to do something. There's big question marks around his forehand and the wrist and he's shown flashes of what we know he's capable of. The backhand's been good generally. Uh, that hasn't been the issue. It's mainly been uh, the rest of his game, really, especially the forehand and just the um, the willingness to be aggressive, I think, on that side, uh, on top of also his all-round play. But we'll see. We'll see how he gets on. Uh, Mossetti has a bye, and Ke- Manovic also has a bye. Vavrinka plays a qualifier. We'll go Vavrinka. Stan's been playing some really good tennis, actually, in the last couple of months. And uh, yes, he hasn't been playing elite-level tennis, but... I don't think we're going to see Stanimal, um personally for a while, I would, uh, if ever again. But what he's doing, he's making the most out of what he's got left, I think, at the moment. McDonald, Krajinovic will go... Mc... Mm, yeah, we'll go McDonald. Rune has got a bye. Medvedev's got a bye, of course. Oh, he is the most informed player coming into this tournament. He's won three tournaments in a row and beat Novak Djokovic as well last week. He is going to be the most confident player coming into this. His results at Indian Wells haven't been the best. And he may not be the favourite, but he'll be in the top three favourites, that's for sure. John Isner, Nakashima is a great match. I'm going to go for Nakashima, but I have to say he's going to have to play some really good stuff against Isner because Isner at home is uh, yeah, is no joke. Uh, at home, I mean in the US, of course. Ivashka, Safiul, will go Ivashka. Vanazan Shop has a bye, as does RBA. Uh, Rusevori, Lestiance, a great matchup. We'll go for Rusevori. Basil Fili to be catching. Zverev has a bye, as does Hatchinov. Zher Otter, that's a really good one. Otter was injured recently. Zher's not a bad player. We'll go Zher. Wu versus Manal will go Wu. Uh, Alejandro Dalic Fakina has got a bye, as does Nishioka. Galan, who beat Sitspass in the first round of. The US Open plays qualifier. We'll go for him. Schwartzman, Korea will go Schwartzman. Kasparu has a buy as does Rublev. Yuri Lehechka has been in great form. He plays Ridenek. We'll go for Lehechka. He's been too good, uh, no doubt. So Patam Morales, Ugo Amber will go for Ugo Amber. Shapovalov has a buy as is Berrettini. Uh, Carabez Bayana has a qualifier. So we'll go for Carabez Bayana. Bublik um, over a qualifier. Nori has a bye, as is TFO. Giron Kovacevic, wildcard. Giron's been quite good. And also, ironically, well, it's not ironically, but it's just interesting that he's uh, really good friends with Carousel, the Brazilian tennis player who has his own YouTube channel called My Tennis HQ. Check it out. It's pretty good. I, I do enjoy it. Uh, he's a former ATP player, although I think he's back on tour now playing like challenger tournaments. And uh, he was coaching Giron. I don't know if he's still coaching him um, for a little bit. And uh, his results have been better, have been better to be fair, and he's tried to play a bit more aggressively. And it'll be interesting to see how he gets on this year. Kublas and Nago, mm, it's a good matchup. Senego, who's been playing some decent tennis. Dimitrov has a bye, as is Cressy. Two qualifiers play each other. Monfils to beat Thompson, and Sitzpas has a bye. Right, okay, this is where it's going to get interesting now. Alcaraz plays Brandon Holt. I know Brandon Holt will have a lot of the crowd on his side, but Alcaraz. Greg Sport to beat Montero. Evans could beat Draper, to be fair, but I'm going to go Draper to beat Evans. I'm going to go for the up-and-coming Brit over the more established uh, Brit in Dan Evans. Murray, now this is where it gets really tough for Murray. He's got Pablo Crena Busta. Now, Crena Busta on a hard court is a really tough, op- really, really, really tough proposition. It really is. Do I think Andy Murray can get through it? Yes. Do I think he will? Not sure. We'll go with him, though. Her catch to beat the qualifier. Tommy Paul to beat Hallis. He's been in really good form. Uh, Srundalo, Jack Sock. It's a 50-50, honestly. We'll go Srundalo, though. Felix to beat Hoistler. I'm actually going to go Shelton to beat Fritz. That's a pretty bold call, isn't it? Do I go for that? I think he could... Burn... I was going to say he can serve him off the court, but Fritz's return is... It's okay. I mean, it's not the best, but I'm trying to think in the exchanges. 
Fritz is probably too solid off both wings, honestly. I don't know if Shelton is going to have enough. We'll go Fritz because of experience, I think. Ima, Baez, we'll go Ima. Chorich and Molkan. That's a really good matchup. I'm going to go Chorich, although he's had some you know, varying results recently. Fuksevich, Alex Dimoneur. Hmm. Alex Dimoneur has just won a title. Sinner over Gasquet. Timo Mossetti, now two players who really love the clay, Mossetti especially. I think this could be a good opportunity for Team. The big, big question mark is going to be how much does he commit to playing an aggressive brand of tennis? If he doesn't, he'll lose. Mossetti's forehand is actually very, very good, generally. And on top of that, um, his backhand, he's got one-hander like Dominic Team. Um, on top of that, um, his serve and return is probably not that much worse or better than teams. It's, it's probably similar at, at this stage, I'd say, in, in how both players are playing. So I'll go for Dominic Team. Kekmanovic over Stan Vavrinka. Go Vavrinka. Runa over McDonald. Sorry, Runa over McDonald. <clears throat> Excuse me. Medvedev over Nakashima. I think it'll be a tough one, but I think he'll come through it. Vanazan Schulp over Vashka. Rusevori over RBA. Do we go for that? Yeah, I'm going to go for it. But since really Zverev, we'll go Zverev. Hatchinov to beat Zher. Davidic Fakina to beat Wu. Nishioka to beat Galan. Kasparu to beat Schwartzman. I'm going to go quite big here. I'm going to go Lehechka to beat Rublev in the second round. Rublev just made the final of Dubai. He was a reigning champion as well. He, some good results from him. I've just got a feeling that Lehechka is doing some bits at the moment. And I think it's going to be Lehechka. I think Rublev might be a little bit tired. He's played a lot of tennis recently. He does play a lot of tennis generally. Uh, Shapovalov on um, two lefties going at it. Shapovalov. Berrettini, Carabas, Bayana. Now, it really depends on how Berrettini is feeling after being injured against Holger Runa. But we'll go for Berrettini for now. Cam Nori to beat Bublik. I think it'll be too consistent and solid for Bublik. TFO to beat Giron. Well, it could be a close one, though. Sonego, Dimitrov. This is a really good matchup. I'm not quite sure on this one. I think if it's a really quick hardcore, I go for Dimitrov. But I think Sonego might tip this one and then I've got Cressy to be a qualifier, Monfils Sitsipas Monfils has made his way back onto tour, I mean he's going to be really rusty we'll go Sitsipas Alcaraz, Greek Spore Alcaraz Draper Murray the way that if this was, if you asked me six months ago I'd say Draper but given how Murray's been playing and the fact that he's a, he has this kind of comeback aura around him um, I'll go Murray her catch Tommy Paul I think her catch is going to play some good tennis I do I'm going to go for um, Tommy Paul's been playing well I'm going to go for her catch FA to beat Sarundalo Fritz to beat Ima. Dimoner to frustrate Chorich and win. Sinner to beat Dominic Team. Vavrinka, Vavrinka, Runa. I mean, that's a really good matchup. We had, we have already had one match which was really good between the two. I'm going to go with Runa. No, I'm going to go with Stan. I'm going to go. Come on, Stan. Come on. Roll back the years again. Medvedev, Vanazan, Shop. We're going to go Medvedev. Zverev to beat Rusevori. Hatch not to beat uh, Dalic Fakina. Rude to beat Nishioka, Lehechka to beat Sh Shapovalov, Nori to beat Berrettini, too solid. Senego TFO, Senego. Cressy could beat Sitsipas, you know. He really could, but I think Sitsipas is probably too good a server. That kind of balances out a little bit um, in terms of the server turn dynamic. And then in the exchanges, I think his forehand is just too good. I don't know if Cressy's good enough to be able to access the Sitsipas backhand enough and put him under pressure. Alcaraz, Murray. I'd love to say Murray beats Alcaraz, but I can't see it at this stage. Um, I just think he hits too big. Um, we'll see. 
We'll see, though. I'd love to see that match. I think it'd be really interesting. Her catch, Felix Orgelia Seam. Her catches serve and volley game against Felix, who's not been playing the best tennis, in all honesty. I think her catch. Uh, Fritz Dimoner. We'll go Dimoner. He's in, you know, he's in good form. Why can't he carry through that form? Sinner Vavrinka. It's a tough one for Vavrinka. It really is. We'll go Sinner. Medvedev Zverev. Now Zverev could beat Medvedev. He's been playing some decent stuff, but I think Medvedev should win it, given his current form. Hatchnov Rude. Only Hatchnov. Lehechka Nori. Hmm. Good Nori. Of course, Nori has won Indian Wells in the past, so why not? So it's fast to beat Sinego. So our quarterfinals are Alcaraz versus her catch. We'll go Alcaraz. Could be a tough one, but we'll go Alcaraz. Dimona Sinner. That's a really good matchup. We'll go Sinner. Medvedev, Hatchdov, Medvedev. Sitsipas, Nori. Tough one as well. I'll go Sitsipas. So I've picked... Okay, so at least I haven't got picked my top four seeds. That's good. <laughs> because that barely ever happened. So uh, normally I'm always wrong. So that's good. Right, so we've got Alcaraz, Sinner, Medvedev, Sitsipas. Now, Alcaraz has question marks over how fit he's going to be. So I might go Sinner. Don't know how he's going to hold up. I'm actually going to go Sitsipas to beat Medvedev. Now, I I don't see Medvedev winning Indian Wells. Uh, now, if he does, then... To me, that's a massive, massive tick because it means that, for me, he's playing the best tennis he's ever played. I'm going to go Sitsipas to Medvedev. Also, he's beaten him recently in their in their recent head-to-heads as well um, and on hardcore, which I think gives him a lot of confidence coming into this. There'll also be a bit of spice because Medvedev said uh, and kind of quoted Sitsipas' remarks to Rublev where he said he was a, you know, Rublev was a limited player and he said, I hope he beats that... Um, the person who said that multiple times in the future. So since Bass has beaten him uh, last year at the ATP Finals, I mean, these are two very close matches, by the way, three sets. Um, Medvedev should have won the second set tiebreaker. Since Bass took it 13-11, and then 7-1 in a second, in a third and final set tiebreaker, then won 7-6, 3-6, 6-3 in Cincinnati in a semi-final. They've actually never played at Indian Wells. And the head-to-head is 7-4 Medvedev, but Sitsipas has won the last two and on hard court. So I'm going to go Sitsipas. Then that leaves us with a final of Sinner Sitsipas. Most likely Sinner's probably going to break down as well. Physically, he's not... Yeah, he's not the best player to bank on, honestly. So I'm going on the fact that he's going to stay fit. And I actually think Sitsipas will win. I don't know. We'll see. I've gone... Pretty left field with some of my suggestions. Let me know your thoughts. Who do you think is going to win? Do you think it's going to be Sinner, Sitsipas, Alcaraz, Medvedev? Let me know who you've picked. I've gone for Sefanos, Sitsipas. That's just how my brackets ended up. But I don't know, honestly. I- I'm really looking forward to it, though. There's some great matchups, great potential matchups in this Indian Wells tournament. And I'm looking forward to this. And also we'll do, of course, a draw preview for the women's as well. Um, So keep an eye out. Guys, remember to that like button. Do subscribe if you're new. And of course, do leave a rating or review if you haven't done so already. We'll see you very, very soon. Thank you very much. Stay safe and well. We'll see you on the next video.